millions of U.S. homes face greater flood threat than previously known, new analysis shows. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Doubt millions of properties nationwide are at risk of severe flooding over the next three decades, but their neighborhoods are not included on federal disaster preparedness maps, according to an analysis released Monday. The study from the First Street Foundation, a nonprofit research and technology group, Examine flood risk data for more than 142 million homes and property to give American homeowners a better idea of how vulnerable their properties are to flooding. I do think that this will be a bit of a shock to some folks, First Street Executive Director Matthew Ebby told Fox 13. Lightning deaths dropped dramatically over two decades across U.S., but danger still lingers. The nonprofit developed its model using the effects of rainfall, sea level rise, and other anticipated environmental changes to find that 14. 6 million properties in the U.S. may face conditions as thus located on the 100-year floodplain classified by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. FEMA currently classifies 8. 7 million properties on floodplain maps as having substantial risk. The online tool, called Flood Factor, uses decades of research to include environmental factors like rising sea levels, temperature change and rainfall patterns to formulate risk. The idea is to give users an assessment through the life of a 30-year mortgage and gauge each property's flood risk on a scale of flooding from 1 to 10. We built this product because we saw a gap in the market for how people understand risk today and how it changes in the future, Ebby told Fox 13. New app ranks 142 MUS properties for flood risks its creator said that current FEMA models only rely on historical observations. In Florida, flood factors showed that by 2051 out of every four homes in Florida will have a substantial flood risk an increase of more than 300 comma homes. So there is a huge increase in flood risk that is happening over that short, 30-year period within the state itself, Ebby told Fox 13. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.